Hey guys, it's Jalen, and today I'm going to be doing 10 OCD problems. OCD stands for Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, and my definition of that is basically perfectionist, but on a whole nother level, like 100 times more worse. So, OCD is like um, a disorder, but sometimes it's kind of cool, sometimes it's really not. You like, so it's kind of hard to explain, but... If you have OCD, you don't take it as a joke. It's not like someone, don't make fun of anyone who has it. It's not their fault. Personally, I have it. It's, it's I don't know. But just please don't make fun of anyone. And disclaimer, I'm kind of overreacting in this video a little bit. And I'm kind of making a joke out of my own disorder. But yeah, just don't. If you kind of take it personal, then please do not watch this video. So I have a list that I've made so yeah let's get started one is odd numbers I hate the number seven like the number three the number four it's just even even the four and two are like um even numbers or like 32 it has to be like a multiple of five like in in my book an odd number is like I mean an even number is a multiple of five but like yeah, like if say I had seven subscribers, which I kind of actually do, um, I I we would have rather have ten or rather have five, cause even if it even if five is less, I still would rather have five than seven. That's just how I feel with that one. I don't know, but I don't know if that's just me, but that's what I feel. Too far is not in the vocabulary. Like say say your TV is on and you're all the way in that corner of the room. It's, and it says no signal on it and you want to turn it off because you accidentally turned it on. It's no too far. You get, you would seriously run over to that TV and fix it right before anyone comes into your room. Because you do not want them to see that it says no signal when it's like in the right corner of the screen when you would rather have it be in the middle. I don't know if that's how anyone else feels, but this is basically how I feel. You clean your room every day, and then you want everyone to know. Everyone has to know. You go ahead and go to your parents and say, Mom, look, look, I cleaned my room today. And you do that every day. And then when she comes in your room her, to her, it looks exactly the same. It looks, but you made like the smallest little change, like you dusted your book or something. I don't know, but that's, I don't know. But you make the smallest change. Like right now, my closet is still open, but I'm kind of recording a video, and I'm so mad right now because I cannot close it. It's literally half open, like like this. It's so annoying sometimes. So annoying. Next number four is neat writing. If if I don't write neat, this kind of ties in with number five. If I don't write neat, then it's like I I I just. We throw away the paper and start again until it's writing perfect. You have to be the most perfect writing in the whole entire class. Literally, if your writing is not perfect, it's a problem for you and you cannot function right. That's how I feel. And number five is paper wasters. You just waste paper constantly because you want to restart and do everything again because it's not done perfectly. So, yeah. Number six, texting. If you are not using capitals and periods and commas where they're supposed to be, don't even text me. Don't even, like, go there because I will, like, personally block you and not even talk to you if you do not use commas and periods and all the other crap. Because that gets on my nerves so much, especially when people do, like, what? Like, they say W-A-T. Can you not type the letter H? It's like, is that like not a word, a, a key letter on your on your keyboard on your phone? Is that just me? Because why do people take shortcuts like LOL? Why can't you just write laugh out loud? It's like, are you serious? Like, I mean, I get it if you're in a rush, but like, no. If we're just having a casual conversation on a Saturday morning, don't be like rushing and saying LOL when you can perfectly type laugh out loud. Yes. Seven, the fixer, the refixer, the one you, you, if something is done even the slightest bit wrong, you will go back, start all over, even if it took like an hour, and you will redo it without a care in the world. You won't even think, oh, this is wasting my time. You're like, yes, I get to finally refix it and prove to everyone that I'm the best and I do everything straight and you just want to be perfect. Like, 
Ugh, it's like, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's not. No rest. No rest until everything's clean. And when you go fi finally go to sleep, then you sleep away perfectly. When then you get up and you're tired, you're like, oh my god, who cares? I'm going this morning, and you're trying your best that whole day. Like, everything has to be perfect. Number nine, erase marks are the enemy. I have not found a good eraser in so long. That that's that ties in with number five, wasting paper. Because I erase marks are the worst ever in the freaking word. It's like, oh my god, erase marks? No, that's like a big no in my book. Erase marks are the enemy. Number ten, phone cracks. If if I have a crack in my phone, I will literally not use that even if I need it. I do not even want to use it anymore or if I'm like have to use it I will literally go back and make another crack on the exact like an exact crack on the other side just because I need it perfect again like if I had a crack like this on my phone I would do it just on the other side so that it looks like it's not a crack like oh is that like only me and 11 um wait Oh, yeah, you watch room cleaning hacks on YouTube. Like, you would go search up room cleaning hacks every single day. Like, that's all your history. It's just room cleaning hacks, room cleaning hacks, room cleaning hacks. 2015, it's, like, not even no joke. Like, that's all you watch on YouTube. Yeah, so that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you liked it. I was kind of exaggerating a little bit, or maybe a lot of bit, but I don't know. This is how I feel like every single day. That's like the struggles of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. It's it's no joke. So yeah, make sure do not um, make fun of people who have this disorder. And I'm doing this as a joke. I laugh at myself even sometimes if I like do this. I don't know. But yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.